There is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering a surgical pathology station, kindly tell me what are your differential diagnoses for this patient? Well, my first differential will be testicular cancer, the second is to understand the testis. Okay. Uh, then it will be inguinal hernia. Yes. And it will be inguinal uh, lymphadenopathy. Yes. Uh, All right. Uh, also, Can you? Yes, All right, good. Thank you. Can you please tell me the difference? How would you confirm your diagnosis? Uh, uh, first of all, I'll go for uh, examination. Then I, yes. I'll go for investigation. For, yes. invest um, for investigation, I'll start with ultrasound. Yes. Uh, then I'll go for some uh, blood and serological markers. Yes. Uh, I'll do some what serological markers. markers are uh, or serolog serological markers or tumor markers are relevant. For the diagnosis yes. of this patient? Yes, uh, the uh, tumor markers that is uh, uh, specific for testicular tumors are uh, beta SCG, alpha fetoprotein. Uh, we have the uh, MDH and placental, uh, placental, uh, placental antibody. Okay. All right. Can you please tell me, in considering the age of the patient, what type of uh, testicular carcinoma do you suspect? In this patient, since the age is young, less uh, around 35, then it will be probably teratoma. All right. Okay. Uh, then what are the tumor markers which are relevant for this patient? In teratoma, uh, it will be uh, alpha fetoprotein, beta SCG, and uh, yes, alpha fetoprotein, beta SCG. And CEA. CEA, yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Can you please, branding antigen. Yes. All right. Can you please tell me the difference? How would you know if it is uh, ectopic uh, testes or it is undescended testes? Uh, undescended testes, uh, the testes will be arrested in the normal pathway of descent. And uh, the ectopic testes, it will be lying in a site other than the normal descent of normal pathway of descent Good. and the and testis will be underdeveloped in case of undescended it will be fully developed in case of uh, this uh, ectopic, ectopic. Yes. Uh, in case of undescended uh, the scrotum will be uh, underdeveloped and in case of uh, descend uh, ectopic it will be fully developed in case of undescended we have short spermatic cord in case of ectopic we have uh, long spermatic cord <clears throat> Then the spermatogenesis is. Yes. Can you tell me the no, most common normal. location of undescended testes? It lies most commonly in the inguinal canal below the external oblique muscle. Okay. Can you please tell me the etiology behind uh, carcinoma testes? Yes. Uh, the carcinoma of testes, uh, there are some risk factors like uh, the congenital deformities like cryptorchidism. Yes. Uh, yes. Another dysgenesis, like Klinefelter's or Turner syndrome, family history, and infertility, environmentals, and all. All right. Can you define the term cryptochidism? Cryptochidism, it is a condition where there is complete or partial uh, failure of uh, descent of testis uh, from the intraabdominal side to the scrotal sac. Can you tell me the risk factors for it or etiology behind it? Yes, uh, there are certain risk factors for undescended testes, like uh, 
uh, we have the premature birth, uh, preterm low birth weight. Then we have uh, hereditary, and yes. uh, uh, it is associated with uh, various complications. Can you name few? Yes, uh, the most common complication we are worried about is cancer. Then infertility. Yes. Uh, it can be associated with inguinal hernia, and yes. and also with testicular torsion. What are the management options that you can offer this patient, considering it's uh, testicular carcinoma? Yes, uh, the first first of all, we have to stage the tumor or cancer. Yes. Then we have to involve the multidisciplinary team. Yes. And uh, most commonly, we we go for orchidectomy, uh, plus minus uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy according to the type of tumor cancer. And if there's a lymph node involvement or spread, then we, then we might go for retrocardial lymph node dissection. Okay, can you tell me the role of orchidopexy in it? Orchidopexy, if it is done in early stage, then it helps uh, reduce uh, infertility and also, yes, reduces the risk of cancer. All right. And other complications. Uh, just suppose you have operated on the patient, you sent for a uh, histopathology and the report comes back and it shows that a uh, patient has uh, all the three layers. Yes, if the, but if how the would you, uh, yes, how would you interfere that? Yes, all the three layers, three germinates, then it will be teratoma. All right, considering the PNM classification, how would you classify the carcinoma? Uh, according to TNM. Stages, the... yes. All right, we'll come back to that uh, later. Can you tell me the pathogenesis <laughs> behind a teratoma formation? The steps? Uh, uh, how it... Uh, develops from the germ cell layers? It develops from all the three germ layers. Yes, right? but how I wanted to know the embryogenesis. Okay, can you That's tell one. me what are the, according to WHO's classification, how would you classify testicular tumors? Yes, according to WHO, we have the germ cell tumors non germ cell tumors or sex port stromal tumor, then lymphoid or hematopoietic, then paratesticular tumors. And in case of germ cell tumors, we have uh, seminometers or non seminometers. And uh, in case of uh, non germ cell tumor, we have Sartoli and Leydig cell tumors. In the seminometers, we have three types the classical, anaplastic, and spermocytic. In non seminometers, we have the teratoma, cholecarcinoma, yolk cell tumor, <coughs> and Yes, choriocarcinoma, ledic cell tumor, sorry, choriocarcinoma, yolk cell tumor, teratoma, okay. and embryonal carcinoma. Can you tell me how significant is beta HCG's uh, levels in knowing the recurrence of the <clears throat> carcinoma? Yes, uh, beta HCG, it is uh, used to follow up the, the patients with testicular tumor, also in diagnosis. Yes. It has uh, the prognostic and also uh, diagnostic uh, importance. Yes. And also uh, it... Uh, to what degree, that, if you can tell uh, recurrence. me? Recurrence. Yes. <clears throat> recurrence also. Yes, uh, to what degree, if you helps. can tell, 10 to 20 percent or something like that? 10 to 20 uh, In stage one and 30 to 50 percent uh, in uh, disseminated or advanced stage. Once in, you know it's like this, then you can tell according to the mm. raised levels. All right, very good. Yes, that was good. Ten to twenty percent. Yeah, you in knew stage everything. one. Yes, ma'am. Can you please one last question? Tell me what is choriocarcinoma? Uh, choriocarcinoma. It is a, a type of uh, tumor which, which arises from the. Uh, pluripotent germ cell, which involves, which has both syncytiotropoplasts and tropoplastic cells. Yes. And has it has a, uh, it has uh, early spread 
to lungs. Yeah, good. Okay, right. Thank you. There were just one or two questions that you couldn't and you yourself know that. So otherwise it was good. Thanks. 